I mean, who's gonna forget where something is, or, you know, something like that? Probably none of these runners, they're all better than me. <laughs> yeah, it, it, better than me is a pretty low bar as well, so... I mean... <laughs> I also tend to play stupid flags rather than standard flags because it's what I because do. Because chaos. Chaos. Yes, chaos. Chaos makes for funds. All right, and it looks like we've got everybody running. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got a strength HP across the board, and it looks like we are off. So let's see what we've got in the throne room tonight. <laughs> Free harp. An herb. And of course, the standard key, but we've got outside. Too bad it's not return. No key for you. A little bit of delay here in the bottom race, but it will start shortly. Yeah, it's just a minor delay in getting them kicked off, but this is fine. You know, they'll be going here in about 5 10 seconds. And they're there. Angels found a couple of skeleton, or a couple of skeletons, slimes, those things. Managed to get a little bit, of, a little bit of XP. And it looks like we got some uh, scorpions hanging about in the early zones as well. It's kind of nice, actually, because that means that uh, they won't have to hunt for them as much. And uh, thank you to the restreamer, Lord of the Synth, for getting that racer syn synced up as well. So. So time will be, you know, matching what we're seeing. Okay, so we've got EMP and Kiglis. They're in different places, but those last couple of encounters were nigh on simultaneous. Scorpions with stop spell, not too much to look for. Yeah, could be a heck of a lot worse. Oh! Scorpions with big boy breath. Ah, there it is. That's that's worse. <laughs> oh, and Drakis with sleep and baby breath. Ooh, murder bats. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bats go bap bap. Uh, one of those, I don't know. Yeah, diet wombo, wombo light. Honestly, they're just about the same, really. Oh, Kegless has gone just a little too far, and a knight has shown up and said, Why are you out here? Go home. And issue no the... soup for you. Yeah, go away. EMP, once again, has found fire breath. And, oh god, why does it burn? Why does it burn? This is, uh... This ah, is a little bit of dangerous dangerous dark. Dark. <laughs> Yeah, harp, harp came nice and easy. Because heaven forbid that they loot the throne room without it, because then they would be boned. Um, but thankfully enough, they really couldn't. Wow, right, looks like Angel has pulled up to level 3 and picked up her and her more. So, and then you rolled. Yeah. Honestly, getting sent home after getting hurt more, that, that's fine. That's fine. Just means you have XP to, or MP to use it. Early Hurtmore seems to be a thing this tournament. <laughs> <laughs> At least it wasn't level one. So now yeah. we're easily able to take out these Wraith Knights. It's going to boost them up really quick. Yeah. And EMP getting burnt by Skeleton again, or by Scorpions again. Alright, so level five... 
I don't even know what the stats were that went up, but uh, the stats went good. Chiklis found, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, found Breconary somewhere around as well. That's kind of nice to find. You know, it's not the best town, but at least it's the cheap town. Oh. And I don't know what, uh, what cave Kiglis jumped into. It was the one that was near Breconary. But it's also full of, well, rogue scorpions. Not something you want until level three, then you can use it. Yeah. And Angel taking out a Star Wyvern and getting the next level, uh, get a level six with four, two, four, six. This is an area he wants to stay in for a few minutes for sure. Yeah, or at least, you know, two more fights. Two more good fights. Even the Metal Scorpion's not worth it now. <laughs> well, take it out, because you think you only need uh, a little bit more than another one to get a level. This Metal Slime, though, it shouldn't run away at 17 strength. Yeah. It may take a while, but, you know, eventually you can get a drop. Stop spell. That's better than hurt more. Oh, there's the, there's the slime down for Angel, giving him another 192 XP. Jeez. Fred has one as well. 23, 5, 6, 3, and heal more. Gets yeah. his medal as well. Gets to level four. Nope, five. Yep. Yeah, this one. Uh, once you get to level three, you're fine. It's just getting there that's the slog. All right, EMP finally getting up to level two. Zero, two, one, zero, hurt and sleep. Wow. That is a level. This feels like vanilla-ish. <laughs> All right, though, getting the scorpion right after that and getting to level three nice and quick. With return and hurt more. Cake still needs a Drakey or better. Should get it with this magician. Right, Angel. Digging into Swamp Cave. Gonna check that spike tile. See what it says. Gollum! Nope. Not yet. Yeah, EMP picked up his hurt more. Now he just needs to get the MP to actually cast it. And there is level 3 for Kiglis. EMP checking to see if he could buy a pole. They don't sell poles in Breconary tonight. I've got a town inside Swamp South here. Alright, level 4, 1716. And level 8 on Angel's side. Pulling up with a 6, 12, 25 hit points and 1 MP. Well, here's Hoxness, and you've got a decent amount of HP all of a sudden. Let's yeah. try this. Let's go, baby. Oh, and oh it's this is green dragon. Oh yeah. Survey says stones. All right.
Well, that's two items down, I believe. Yeah. Oh boy, and Fred has run into the fun police. Fun police went, you are out of bounds. Go home. Still, with Hurt More, if you can get early attack on those. Yeah. Oh, and Wraith Knight jumps on Kigalus and sends him home as well. Because uh, Wraith Knights are jerks, too. At least he gets the MP refill. Yeah, when you have early hurt more, you don't mind so many deaths, especially once you run out of MP. Very much so. EMP deciding to take on rogue scorpions in uh, Swamp Cave, looks like. I don't hate the play right now. You got the hurt more spell. You got a town right nearby. Warlock's in here, too. This is not a bad zone. Yeah. Fred in the exact same spot, apparently. Oh, golems have sleep. Oh, oh. Awakened with one HP. Great, I'm out. Thanks. Bye. Mm -hmm. Fred also discovering, well, spike tile here, golem. No, no, no. Not without dust flute. Yep. Please, give me the alba flute. Give me the magical flute so I can, you know, not die. I mean, 83 HP and heal more is kind of good, but I mean, we've only got 46 attack. Kind of want yeah. triple that to really do a golem grind. Yeah. Well, maybe not triple, double for sure. Yeah, triple, just be real, just to make sure. Well, EMP getting sent home again, unfortunately. The blue dragon looks happy on Kigalus' screen. <laughs> it's because it's about to have dinner. Or, you know, he played the harp for it. Oh, well, that too. Demon Knights. It's such high agility, though. Grenades get to jump on you so often, and they're so hard to run from. Yeah. Hey, we've got a spark over search again. <laughs> Alright, that's one from each race group. Okay, golems are actually kind of playing goalies today. This is, like, we've seen three or four run failures from them. Kind of trying to pay attention to the map, but, you know, two eyes, four people, not enough brain cells. Yep, too late in the night for that kind of thing. Yep. Oh, EMP has found his uh, lovely little metal slime. And uh, has decided to take a leave. Yeah. I think Angel's still in Second Continent here, wandering around. Ooh, an Axe Knight. Oh, that's nice. Level 9, we've got 1, 11, 4, 17, and Repel. Sweet Christmas. And another town that's not Hoxness. Yeah, another town buried in a swamp. Swamps. It's the new place to build the suburbs. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, it's that police guy never shows up. Yeah, I know, right? Did anybody drop anything by the bath? Oh, nice. We got the armor. That's a really good find. So Swamp, not a worry right now. Yeah. This is why Cole decided to build in the swamp, because they had the armor just kind of laying about, so they didn't have to worry about it with the builders. Just like somebody's got to leave, great, slap on the safety gear before you go. Does not protect against sleep, though. Nope. Nor the extreme amount of violence that these golems are uh, wreaking tonight. here. Alright, let's see what we got. We've got Mountain Cave. Five chests, fairly easy to get. Hopefully a key. That's what we're really looking for now. Yeah. Her wings, that's not a key or a sword. Kiglis has found Hawksness. Hey, we've got a key and some cash. I would have taken that gold, man, just so you could do a death warp and still have gold. You know, right? You've got a good amount of hit points and magic points for this level, or for this level, for the level they're at so far, though. Level 8 with 83 MP or HP. Ooh, a second key. Nice. And Karan, thank you for the raid. And an herb. Now, if you're in Angel's position, do you actually actively go for a death warp or do you just, you know, try and walk it out? Mm, I think I'd go for the death warp, but I'd burn my MP first because you could likely pick up another level in here. Speaking of another level, there is level 10 for Angel. We got 12, 0, 12, and 10. And EMP finds keys the normal way by finding Rebel there. Ooh. The second cheapest keys in the game because you cannot beat free. Wait, did he put the armor knight to sleep? He did. He was trying to uh, take it out, I guess, and uh, decided, I'm mm, gonna wake up and take you out. Which, honestly, given that you've got the chests open, this is fine. Oh yeah, it's and great, it's just, you never see that. It's Nobody tries to sleep here every night. Yeah. Alright, let's see what we get here. Let's ah, the ball light. of light! The sword. The sword, which we don't know if that's actually the sword or not. No, it Another actually Derdric. is the sword. Oh, and that was the Derdric's token, too. Ah, the bamboo pole, awesome. <laughs> so that's either an herb or a key? I think it was herbs. I kind of love it when you get, like, you know, the ball of light out of a chest, like, huh, okay, thanks, game. And go up to the king, hey, you know you had this in your treasury, right? Being said, may not be a gold grind available, depending upon what, what, well, let's see what we get down here. Tablet. Tablet cave. Alright, EMP heading on over to check to see what's in the basement. As he, you know, found Rimbledor, picked up keys the normal way. Well, it and is that continue. is herbs, I think. 
herbs or keys, whatever, but one of those two. Gonna be herbs because Angel's actually topping up on keys here. All right, well then. Got a metal slime fight here for Kegelis, and he gets it. Nicely done. 255 XP. Just kind of wandering around, watching everything flee in terror. Before remembering, wait, I, I can just repel. EMP, you didn't hit the treasure. Oh no, did he hit the treasury? He must have hit the treasury. I trust the trackers more than I trust my own eyes. Alright, level 10 for Fred. 12 0 12 10. It seems to be, you know, it had that little bit of a slow start, but my god, once it got taken off, it was, it's burning through. Yeah, you go through Swamp Cave, it's pretty easy to find, um, was coal? No, it was easy to find Hoxtus, but coal wasn't far. So you get the armor there, you get the sword and home. And uh, yeah, you fairly early hurt more, heal more comes early-ish. A lot of HP to start. <laughs> so much HP. I mean, we're only 21 minutes in. Yeah, 21 minutes in, 99 hit points on, at level 10. It's getting real close to, oh lord, he coming territory. getting the uh, unfortunate resist on the stop spell by the green dragon there. Now, I've really grown to hate casting hurt more on Star Wyverns, because it never kills them. Oh, I know. Star Wyverns are generally one of the things that are in my, I'm going to swing first, then I'm going to cast, because y'all resist way too much. Got a blue dragon fight down here for a king, but he decides to run away. You can't blame him. Escape while we get while the getting's good. <laughs> Propel, Angel? No. <laughs> We're level, you know, level 10, have all the spells except for, uh, except for stop spell. And that may even actually be, yeah, okay, level 9 is where they all come in, or all have come in except for stop spell. Jeez, beasties. Speaking of level 9, here comes level 9 for EMP. We have level 12, or 11, sorry, here for Fred. 3, 3, 1, 8, and there's the last spell. <laughs> And Angel gets it at the same time. Well, let's see. We've got to find the staff trading cave, and the jerk has already been found. Man, we got to find, uh, you know, um, Sherlock proper still. Angel walked into a dark cave, probably grave, didn't care, has all the things left. <laughs> yeah. The only thing of note that would be, you know, useful to find would be the death necklace, but no guarantees that it's going to be hi hiding in grave as well.
Thanks for the raid, Tilo. Coming over Damn. from the Red Slime Zone. I think that we're going to have to have the staff trading cave beneath the Garenham. Uh, As... yeah? So it's a race to find Garenham, then. Yep, yeah, find Garenham, find Sherlock. Oh, have we seen the free stuff cave? Probably not. <laughs> You're right, we haven't seen free bee cave. Here's a town. Not the one. Ah. Level 11, 102 AP. Wow. Yeah, this is really, really stacking up. Angel with the ghost raid there. Or, <laughs> sorry, Aaron. <laughs> the perks of accidentally raiding into a channel that you know somebody who can raid that or raid from that channel. Hey, cake picking up a half plate here. Finally, so he's not rock walking around entirely naked. He did have clothes apparently because he just sold them. So only mostly naked. Fred finding Rivaldor, that means he's going to be getting his uh, big stick as soon as he heads back to uh, heads back to Castle Town. Well, not Castle Town, but to the castle in itself. Wording is hard sometimes, and I cannot brain too good apparently. Castle yeah, Town in one of the other games. Yes, level twelve with seventeen three twenty six zero. My God. So we're almost at Death Necklace HP, which is yeah. funny because we don't have a Death Necklace. <laughs> yeah, three more HP and we're in safe Death Necklace zone. Nothing else, we're going to get many, many doubles and possibly some triples. Yeah. I mean, we're still not at the point where we can actually do damage to the Dragon Lord, but it's getting real, real close, real, real fast. Um, Angel can. He can do... Nine, possibly. For some reason, I was thinking a base AP of 120 was to, uh, was what was needed to, you know, not be defense broken by Dragon Lord. Eh, that's what I get for trying to remember numbers. Angel would definitely want a large shield. A silver, if you can do it, but I don't think there was a gold grind. Actually, yes, there yeah, was. No, we didn't see any gold uh, underneath. Uh -oh. And uh, the... No. no, it was uh, the Ball of Light, two swords, and a herb. And I don't remember right. what the Ball of Light actually was. I'm sure he could sell that and use it for something. Yeah, exactly. Like I said, just go to the king. Yeah, you were looking for the Ball of Light. Did you check your closet? It's like when he loses his daughter underneath his own castle. Like, oh, yeah, she, yeah, I know. She wandered down to get something from the pantry, and I just haven't seen her. So it's basically come down to a uh, find Garenham and grind on the way. Yep. Yeah. 
keep picking up a broadsword. Unfortunately, hasn't found any of the things he needs. Yeah, kid, not quite having the luck yet. EMP back in Hawk's Nest, gonna find the stones here if he can, you know, get the dragons to actually behave and not resist the hurt more. And 91 HP should have no problem killing this. Yeah. 91 HP, 99 AP, he should be able to beat that thing down just straight up attacks. It looks like he's that willing to stay around for a while. I can't blame him. You know, that's the the last actual piece you need to find. I mean, everything else at this point is cake. Alright, level 11 for EMP. for Fred Coughlin here. Getting that giant pile of hit points. Has anyone else even bothered to go through Swamp Cave? I know a couple people were in it, but has anyone gone through it? I do not know. No one else has the armor, so I'm wondering if they have not yet. Then again, EMP is there because he's in Hoxness. So I think. Oh, yeah, Cole Kit was at least gone through there as well. Yeah, so I think it's just down south of it, but you might have to go around something to get there. And to respond to a question in chat yes, Jerk Cave has been found already. The Staff Trading Cave has not yet been found, though. Oh, it was a magic key as the ball of light. Sherlock has not been seen as of yet. Yeah, Sherlock is somewhere in the great unknown. Oh, there it is. Oh. And a town! The devil. Hey, what do we got here? Not the town we're looking for, but if it has a large shield, it's useful. Yeah. First armor shop? Nope. Second armor shop? Well, it's got a shield. Not the shield we're looking for, but it's a shield. I would have picked up the small one there just in case. Third shop says... Large shield, alright. There it is. Alright, Kickless stopping back by Rimmelter and topping off on keys. Checking the coordinates, it's only going to be a death necklace, but maybe, well, definitely would be useful, I guess. 36 north, 9 east. That's countable. I mean, it's not specifically necessary. At least I think it's countable. I don't remember how the world looks. Alright, EMP finding the grave and diving in. And the coordinates may very well be the flute. Alright, no flute yet. Hey, we got the fighter's ring, though, out of the uh, top floor of grave. That's kind of convenient to find. All right, level 13 for Angel. We've got two, five, four, six. I mean, there's your death necklace HP right there. Yeah. a bit more MP, and you're really going to be pretty good to go. I think with 8 more MP and maybe 9 more attack or 10 more attack, I'd probably go. Though, 
Tilo does point out a uh, point out a very pertinent fact. Is it really safe to go death necklace when you only have 74 defense? See, that's why they should be paying strength or playing strength agility. Hey, you're a man after my own heart. All right, I believe it is. Like, I think Kiglis is near where Cole is. I think. Hey, freebie cave. A torch. Uh, it's a free torch. Also, this town here, that must be Garenham. Yep. Yeah. So, yes, now we know this will be the staff trade in cave. Angel gonna check everything, maybe hoping for the death necklace anyway. Maybe also hoping for the fighter's ring, because he didn't pick that up because he sawed grave and was like, nope, fam, I don't need this. Talks to the NPC who tells him to get lost. <laughs> I, love I long for NPC guillotine in this game. Alright, Giglas getting the sword and getting the stones. Or token, not stones. Oh, golems have baby breath. I mean, that makes them easier to fight in the long run. Yeah, so if you find one on the uh, final spike tile, it's not going to be as bad. I mean, they still have sleep, but still. Uh, EMP finding Cole, about to get his armor. for EMP. And a disappointing herb for Kiglis. Angel going straight back to Hoxness to take on this green dragon. Seems I definitely understand ride. this. Yeah, I definitely understand this play. He knows where everything else is. He is good to go. He's just got to grind up some levels. else on level 12, just having a hard time finding the items. Yeah, Angel had really good exploration and honestly really good exploration luck on this one. Like, he was able to get out there first and just get everything found. Discussion in chat about uh, werewolves having you know, a one out of eight chance to dodge physical attacks, but no soft or no hurt resist. And obviously, the uh, chance to dodge spikes up to 15 out of 16 if you have a critical hit. Oh, of course. All right, Fred has also picked up his armor. Wrong channel, Tilo, but poltergeists are the worst. <laughs> and you'll get in the random blue dragon that popped over, because, hey, I heard something going on here. What's going on, guys? Can I get in? EMP is to level 13. Nice. Two, five, four, six for him. Oh, level 14 for Angel. Getting us 13 strength, nine ag or 11 agility, 5 hit points, 9 MP. I think that's actually pretty much ghost stats. 
Yeah, I'd hit it here. I mean, MP is a little on the low side, but just you know, make sure you have plenty of herbs with you so you don't have to waste heals. Maybe a fairy water or two. Yeah. You know, it's not defense breaking much at 82 to be DB. That's true, that's true. Now, just for Angel to remember how to actually get to Sherlock. I was about to say Angel's the only one that's seen it, but EMP walks onto the screen. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and this means EMP is going to be in go mode. Oh, wait, no, I forgot. Angel still needs to go get the, ro or get the rainbow drop. Does he remember that? Does now. <laughs> I've never done that before. I swear. It. Nope. I totally haven't done that. No. No. Not at all. I. I the no. same. Yeah. EMP getting some coordinates. Doesn't realize. You don't need them. Actually, yes, he should. He has everything else. Yeah. In fact, all our runners have all the items now. And now Fred has seen uh, Sherlock. I'm just now realizing that, wait a minute, the town next to Sherlock was Cantlin, not Breckner, not uh, Garenham. So EMP still needs to find Garenham. Kegelis goes in the mountain, comes out of mountain. <laughs> and the way Kegelis is heading, he is soon also going to be discovering Charlotte. shield down here. Huzzah! Angel's stopping off and topping off. I'm gonna stay in this desert, maybe fight the Axe Knights, probably... Oh no, I'm thinking EMP. Yeah, Angel's going to be just straight diving right now. And, of course, immediately gets run blocked by a Star Wyvern. But it was just baby breath, so this is fine. This is fine. A preview of things to come, perhaps? Yeah, how bad does the run blocks... Or how bad are the run blocks tonight? It's... It's Sherlock. They're always bad. All right, and Fred has found Garenham. Wanted to see what that other cave was first, though. I don't hate it or hate the play. I mean, it makes sense. Well, it could have uh, been Staff Cave and not needed the waste key. Exactly. is a super jetty sea. Holy crap. Have we had I, a sub hour seed yet? I don't think we have. I do not know. Ah, we have apparently. Well, there hasn't been many of them for sure. Yeah. having a little bit of run problems there with the green dragon, but the green dragon eventually relents. 
Alright, Fred's picking up his staff. Bass is not out of here. Yep. And Kiggle is getting the coordinates. And through this Sherlock. And Tila with the stats, uh, or at least the stats as far as you can remember, that the fastest record for standard flags in a tournament is 4706. Alright, EMP getting his shiny little drop. Hits the bottom floor, doesn't care for the death necklace. It looks like Fred is opting to grind those golems in Swamp Cave. actually understand it given the AP that they've got and the fact that the golems only have baby breath. Yeah, it's a fairly fast grind. Oh, green dragon. Another here. green dragon. Yeah, 50% sleep, 50% fire. Yeah, that's actually not too bad of a grind. Let's toss stop spell on him. Alright, there is level 14 for Fred. for another level, though. Angel's heal walking. <laughs> heal walking, I think, like three hit points or so. All right, Angel proving himself a fool. Coming up on the Dragon Lord. Let's see how this plays out for him. Oh, it's just a simple attack. That's You kind of love seeing that from the DL. And there's oh. a stop spell. All right, going in with 125 hit points. Probably going to get a good uh, double out of this one to start. Nah, nine hits, or nine points. Kind of a low roll to start, though. All right, 14 for 23 total. Cake picks up his staff and ring. Yeah, 31. Another low roll on eight there. Another nine. Ugh. Forty. If he keeps rolling like this, it's uh, not gonna go well for him. EMP picks up fourteen. Oh. All right, sixteen. That's a good hit. So that's fifty-six. Another sixteen for seventy-two. This is only about 500 points off of level 14, so the rest of them will be going up fairly quickly. Jeez, beasties. Veron, thank you for the raid. Oh, another 8 points, bringing him to 80 total. Angel's gonna need more of those high rolls, less of these, uh, or 89. Might he pull the Veron swag more? <laughs> All right, ninety nine. One ten. Ooh, gets double though. That's a nice sign. One twenty one. Technically, shouldn't have rolled on that. I guess it, it was the play, but it could have gotten killed there. One thirty eight. Should get two more attacks here, probably will manage. Fifteen, one forty-five. Yeah, swing to spare. Yeah. That was a close one, so get your GG's out in chat for Angel FM. Finishing up with an official race time GG time of processing, please wait. 
4854. Yeah, so G Jeez. That was that was a real real quick one. Fred picks up level 15 and may go shortly now. EMP heads in. 9 to 18 to 27, 13. We need 13 attack. And level 15 gave us 2 strength, no agility, 13 hit points more, no MP. Kegel is thinking about it. Fred not having the MP to uh, cast return or anything, he's realizing, wait, I just need to walk this anyways, this is fine. Ah, and Aaron, uh, 2 you 2 one of our wonderful trackers for tonight, making a note that uh, Kikolis got burned in his lap going to the level, so he's taking the cautious side. And we are joined at the booth by Angel, so G, she's Angel. Thanks, that went by uh, really quick. <laughs> I was going to ask, how are your feet feeling after running so fast? Uh, I don't know, I had to do a little extra walk to get the rainbow drop again, so... <laughs> well, to be fair, I had forgotten you needed to get the rainbow, rainbow drop too, so, you know. Yeah, I was, like, I was just so focused on, okay, let me go level, because... Who know? You know, I'm not expecting 14 to be go level at that point. Just, uh, just like, oh, okay. Well, I guess you know, I'll I'll get it eventually. And then, oh, oh, I need to get going. And then, just completely cross my mind. Oh, I don't think I picked this up because I think Rainbow Drop was before Breconary. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And and to be fair, uh, Fred ground up to 15, and yeah, it's not much of a level. Uh, it's two strength and 13 hit points. I mean, at least, the, you know, the two strengths at least, you know, gets the min and the max up, so. But, I mean, because I was kind of getting worried with the the way the Dragon Lord fight was going, where it was just 8, 9, 9, like nothing until, yeah. like, I finally got the doubles going. Yeah, well, you got those 16s back-to-back -back as well. But, yeah, the I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of worried before that as well. Oh, yeah, I was I was already playing, like, okay, maybe I need to manufacture something here, because this guy is not stop, has not stopped breathing once yet. And uh, thanks to Schmike uh, for keeping track, you had two eights and four nines and three elevens. Yeah, that's what it felt like. Yeah, those were some, uh, those were some pitiful rolls. But you got it with one swing to spare. Yeah, that's all that matters. Yeah, once I once I saw I got to like a higher thirty uh, HP on the heal, I figured I was fine. So I, th I think I think at one point I just stopped counting once I start start seeing the eights and nines the second time. I'm like, okay, whatever, this is gonna happen or it's not. I'm I'm not bothering at this point. Yeah, you did have a finishing triple there, and you did swing on forty nine once, which could have been bad, but the right call. Yeah, I just I mean I just put it into. Yeah, I have to. I have to do this because I can't. I can't not. But yeah, I mean, yeah, 18 minute go mode. Uh, besides having to find like Heart Cave, but yeah, that pretty much made things really, really quick. Yeah, you were the first one to find everything, and finding coal, I think, was your big break there. Yeah, I mean, surprisingly, like I was just actually trying to go back to where Mountain Cave was, and I just went down and I'm like, oh, there's, there's a town here. Let me go check this. A town in the middle of this giant morass. Well, let's go grab it. Yeah, well, it paid out for it pretty well. Yeah, I mean, I probably would have seen it when I would have gotten to uh, Mountain Cave, but but yeah, just, I mean, it helped out because I made his armor, so. All right, and EMP is pulling on up to Dragon Lord now, proving himself a fool and taking the swing. One hurt more out of him. 
Does EMP get the same luck on the herb? Nope. <laughs> Eats the herb immediately, the herb is wasted. Second herb, though, gets a good stop spell luck. So, Angel, right now we have a five way tie in Sword Match Trick. Sick God. Five I mean, this one, this one, sorry. Oh, five people have four wins. It's probably the closest group out of everyone. Yeah, I mean, this was the, uh, this was considered the group of death, so. <laughs> it's not surprising. He's getting all the good swings that uh, you didn't get. He's 51 hit points deep so far. <laughs> of course, as soon as I say that, then he rolls a knife. No, this is fine. Yeah, I mean, he's got a few uh, high melees, too, compared to me. Six on EMP right now with a double coming in, bringing him up to 96. And Tilo mentioning that there's a possible five way four to two tiebreaker tie race. Oh man. Fred gets past the spike tile and is on his way to the Dragon Lord, and Kegelis is healing up for his dive, I believe. Yeah, kind of convenient to have the town right next to or, uh, to Sherlock. And I'm not gonna lie, I also lost track of how much uh, damage EMP has done, but he's getting real close. Are they taking the swing on that, on 50? He's decided I'm just gonna heal and then take the three swings I've got. Fifty but is get... safe here, actually, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, get your GGs out in chat for EMP. Any amount of money finishing up with an official race time dot GG time. Uh, we will know as soon as he gets to turn in or gets to the king to turn in the ball of light. All right, it looks like. An hour. Yep, fifty six thirty nine for EMP. Any amount of money. So get your GGs out in chat. Fred will likely still take this under an hour, and Kiglis has a chance. Yeah, this is a real quick seed. <laughs> this is also just a honestly a really impressive run out of these runners so you know if you like what you saw follow them do it do it now yeah, they've earned it for putting on a good race for us and they're joined in the booth by emp any amount of money so ggs and well done gg that was a great run even if it did start like garbage <laughs> Yeah, we've made the observation that the first three levels were a bit of a slog, and then all of a sudden, you know, Hurtmore rolled in, and the jets turned on. Yeah, I laughed about the swamp cave coming out right south of Hawksness, and then I went west from Brackenary, there's Hawksness again. <laughs> okay, I thought it wrapped around pretty close to where it was, yeah. Yeah, I noticed it right when I saw this where Swamp Cave uh, ended up and walked that way. I'm like, oh, okay, well, we're pretty close by. Oh, and it looks like Fred has taken down the Dragon Lord and is on his way to turn in the Ball of Light. Which, you know, unlike it was for you, Angel, the Ball of Light was not in the treasury for Fred. <laughs> which I have to say, I did chuckle when you uh, were looting the... You know, after you'd gotten all the caves and you were in the uh, chest glitch area, the first thing you open up, oh yeah, it's a ball of light. Great! I know, it's kind of sad that Eric's sword kind of ruined it. 
before I could get another ball of light. Yeah. But yeah, get your GG's in chat for Fred Coughlin finishing up with the official time of 58.38. Kegelis will actually be over an hour here. People saying better 102. Still, for such a race, I mean, to get three players under an hour and one just barely over, that's pretty good for this tournament. It really is, especially given how many, like, two hour plus seeds we've seen. And it looks like Fred's going to be taking a pass on the interview tonight, which is entirely understandable. Uh, it's, you know, he's been on vacation a little bit. So, yeah, I can understand just wanting to have a night to just chill. Just Mike mentioning, yeah, with this encounter eight, probably a 103. Yeah, no, this seed started off kind of ugly. I, I honestly, Angel, I didn't even see what you got your first couple of kills on. All of a sudden, I just looked up and it's like, oh, he's level three. Oh, there's her more. Oh, my. Yeah, there were blue slimes and red slimes. Like, the zo zone one or zone zero basically starts on the left side of the castle. And I noticed that, like, right away, right when I saw the Drakima going, like, two tiles south, I think. I'm like, okay, I need to get out of here. <laughs> This is not a place I should be at right now. I think I had the same thing, except I found a poltergeist. I was pretty annoyed when I found the red slime. Oh yeah, Kiglos has a sword. Definitely the 38 hit there. Yeah, he was just getting some low rolls there. All right, and it is Dragon Lord 2 time for Kiglis getting a roll off the 14, not too shabby. Another 14, 28 total. Not, not a bad start at all. for a 45. Another 11, bringing him up to 56 damage. Green for 70. now and yeah oog you got here just in time for gigalus's fight because the rest of this seed was really really jetty yep again another early hurt more seed it's there's been a lot of those i think the last early hurt more seed that i called it was you know hurt more at level one it still took an hour and a half this one it like it was Early hurt more, and the stats just kept coming in. For sure. And then early repel, too. I don't think a lot of people took advantage of it, but could have repelled away all the things you didn't want to see and hurt more all the things you did want to see. Exactly. As per usual, I lost track of the count because I was talking about other things, but, you know, Kiglis is on the last few swings, but it is not even necessary. He finishes up with one hurt more left in the tank. Gonna be taking his ball of light and heading on home. And we still don't know if it was the death necklace or the flute on the search spot. <laughs> right, nobody ever looked. No one checked the... Um... Uh, Sherlock either, so we'll never know. Yeah. But get your GGs out in chat for Kigalus finishing up with an official time of 103.23. So GGs. I will say that's the one thing that was on my mind was if the golem is the spike tile before the dragon lord. Uh, <laughs> you know, do I do I stop spell to sleep here or do I need to go for flute or something?
Uh, actually, yeah, stop spell worked pretty well. Fred was grinding on the golems. Uh, they were 50% baby breath, 50% sleep. Great, and we are joining the booth by Kigalus. So, GG's Kigalus. Thank you, GG MP. GG. Yeah, so uh, I'm guessing everybody else found uh, some enemies within the first five minutes that they can actually kill. I, you were the last. No, I don't know if you or EMP was the last to get level three. It was pretty close. Because I ended up going to Breconary, selling my herb for a torch and throwing that at a magician and then healing through that to get my first kill. <laughs> I hadn't seen that, but that does make a whole lot of sense. Yeah, and then of course right after I, you know, get hurt and sleep and then walk north and find three slimes in the desert. <laughs> Oh, well, that's just how it goes. Yeah, well, you know, you still got through it. You still got through this in a really good time, you know. Like, yeah. 103 is, yeah, it's a really good time for these for the standard flags, so. Yeah, I don't feel bad about how I played with it. I mean, it's, you know, the bad luck early and then some waste of time wandering around. But, yeah, once I found that grind in the desert, uh, south southwest of Breconary, then things were feeling pretty good. My brain's kind of spent. I don't have any other questions I can think of right now. Uh, Cyberdark, I'm going to toss it on over to you and you know, let you talk for a while because I've been babbling way too much. Uh, yeah, so it was it was very fast seed. Like I said, everyone got level three, a little bit of Pirate Angels first out, Kiglis or EMP. One of you guys were the last. I'm not sure which, but still overall i mean this was so fast everyone had all the stuff they needed within a half hour for sure then it was just find garenham pretty much that was the last thing everyone had to find yeah it was off there a little bit i doubt anybody found grave right uh grave is just north of hawksness oh it was huh yeah, I just yeah, I just decided to skip it when I found it because I'm like I'm I need to find Harp Cave. Huh. Yeah, the only uh, only thing of note that we know about Grave is that there was a fighter's ring on the top floor, and that's about it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I saw someone else go in the mountain and nope out because they didn't need it afterwards. Yeah, I did that. And nobody searches coordinates, which was great. We still don't know what it was. I mean, it's literally a death necklace. Yep, and nobody needed either, it turns out. But yeah, everyone in this race, I think, stays alive after this. Um, no one has been actually put out yet. Um, so it's it's very interesting to see. Like we're all coming down to our last couple of races here. Yeah, time to root for C Parsley, I guess. Yeah, I believe Aaron mentioned a tiebreaker scenario where he beats me and we have to play a tiebreaker race. Yeah, yep. There may be a few tiebreaker races here. In the Sword Magic Track with Angel and Fred here, there's currently five people at four wins. Did uh, anybody go on 14? I won on 14. Yep. Okay, I thought about it, but after last night, I mean, I actually have a thing of no borderline levels. <laughs> I understand that. Yeah, no, 14, it was, it got a little bit spooky. Angel had a few bad rolls, but uh, managed to pull it out still. It was real, real close, but still got it with a uh, the full swing left to spare. EMP, you went on 14 too, I believe. 
I believe so, and I think the fighter's ring made the difference on that one. Yeah, it sounds like it probably would have. Cause, yeah, it was, it was close, and I wanted you know, maybe another heal more, but then with the extra health, I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, no, level, level 15 was disappointing. Two strength and 13 hit points. All right, so this was our last set of races for tonight. I believe we have a bunch for tomorrow. We always do. If I can find myself a schedule here. Uh, loading, loading. Processing, please wait. Do, 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 do. Currently six races for tomorrow. Sweet Christmas. One at two thirty Eastern. One at eight. Uh, no, six and two at eight and one at nine. One at nine thirty. <laughs> wow. And just about all of them will have playoff implications. Not quite all of them, but most of them. Yeah, so get the. Uh, there's gonna be getting some real good races coming up here very soon. Yep, we're in our last week of races now, uh, so I think everything has to be done by next Sunday. And there are a couple booked for next Sunday, I believe. But the uh, the playoff spots will start being set this week for sure. There are one, two, three five people already set where they're going to be, I believe. So, 19 more to go? 19 races in one week. It's no, I mean, 19, 19 players left to get into the oh. playoffs, I think. I am not so smart sometimes. I call those days ending in Y. Ah, yes, I have those days as well. Oh, my math is off. 12 of the 24 actually have actually clinched spots. So halfway there. But I think only however many I said actually set where they're going to be. There are a good few pending. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in to RPG Limit Break tonight for, like I said, our last race of the night, set of races for the night. We will have a bunch of races tomorrow. Uh, thank you to Lord of the Synth for restreaming. Thank you to our Barbalute and Aaron to you too for tracking. And thank you, Hate, for co-commentating with me. Hey, thanks for putting up with my shenanigans tonight. Shenanigans are always welcome. It's DWR. <laughs> All right, but with that, we are going to be heading on over to Stacks 28. So uh, let's go give him some love. GG again, guys. Yeah, with that, have a good evening, folks.